All right guys, welcome back to another welding how-to? What are we calling this? How to weld sort of? Anyway, in this episode, I wanna kinda of go over one of my favorite upgrades on a TIG welder that I feel like is widely, widely missed by most. So when you order a TIG welder, um, you know, if you just order like a basic package, no extras, you're just gonna get a basic TIG torch set up. So this one's, I don't know what, maybe, maybe 12 feet, maybe 15 feet. And uh, this is what you're gonna get as a standard package on almost every TIG welder you ever purchase. Uh, this one happens to be water cooled. You probably won't even get that. So you just get like a basic 17 style torch usually. So other than upgrading to a smaller torch head, which I recommend, as long as you, you know, you can keep the amperage with under the rating of the torch head itself or go water cooled. Um, I recommend going with a 25 foot lead. So most don't even know that that's available. They don't even know that's a thing. Um, you can get 25 foot leads, some from the manufacturer. If not, you can get them from like CK. CK pretty much makes torches for everything on the market. The great thing is you can do both upgrades in one. So you can go with a smaller torch head. So you can go with the nine or the 20, I believe is the two sizes. One is basically air cooled. The other one is water cooled, depending on what setup you have you could upgrade to one of those. It's gonna be a smaller torch head. It's gonna look something like this. This is a nine here. This one is air cooled. The 20, I believe, is water cooled. Same exact body size though. Makes it easier when kind of working around stuff and holding things. We'll kind of go over torch heads later. I've touched on it in the past, but that's not the upgrade I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about the 25 foot leads you can get. Um, like I said, you can get some of these from the manufacturer. And if they don't offer it, CK makes upgrades for most welders on the market, I think. I love this setup so much that when I got my Furnace machine, I actually, uh, CK didn't have one available at the time. I actually took one of the Furnious TIG torches and cut it up and then added my own CK setup on top of it. So I basically took two torches, made it into one, and it works beautifully. The only problem with this one, this particular setup is it's not water cooled. Works great, I've got the distance. And the reason I like this is because you can spend a little extra money, upgrade your torch head to a smaller size if that's what you're into, and you can get that 25 foot length. And then for like a little bit extra, you can extend your ground lead. So I think the ground lead, if you go with like a one-aught cable, uh, it's like under $3 a foot. You can get a length of that and extend both. And then your welder can sit in one spot in your shop, depending on how big your shop is. And you can kind of stretch that thing around anywhere you need to. So let me kind of show you how this plays out in my shop. So over here, I have a sort of flat welding table. I think this is like the three by four. I've got it set up to be a standing welding table so I can stand up here and weld. I've got junk all over it now. And then just under it, I have basically permanently positioned my Everlast 325 EXT under this thing with a water cooler. And then my upgraded 25 foot uh, torch. So I just got it hanging here now. And what I can do, when I'm gonna weld right here on this table, I can just take off a loop or two of this torch. Usually I have all this kind of tucked up underneath my table. I've got the pedal itself there. And then the ground is usually just stuck right on the table itself. So anything I'm welding, as long as it's contacting this table, I don't have any issues with it. The nice thing is, if I want to weld on this table, which is my larger four by eight, also by Sir Flat, I can uh, just pull that ground over 
attach it to this table. Uh, this particular pedal will stretch over here as well. And then I've got 25 foot of torch lead. I don't have to move the welder. It stays right there. My tank stays there. I don't have to move nothing. I just kind of get over here and work. I've got another torch holder here. Um, so I can, you know, get to business. If I need to do some TIG welding on this thing, same deal. If I need to do some TIG welding on this thing, same deal. I can stretch that thing all around the shop and it's gonna pretty much reach everything I need to do. The other great thing is like, for instance, when I was building this, I didn't wanna drag the welder around it for one and I didn't want to drag the pillow around. So I had it set up where it was all finger trigger and I could crawl in and out of all these tubes no matter what, where I was going and kind of weld all these joints as I went. I didn't have to worry about like backing myself out because I didn't have enough torch cable. I can get the job done. Um, and it was a huge time, time saver for me. I love that I can kind of just unravel that thing a couple of loops, get wherever I need to go, do some welding, and then kind of wind it back up uh, to clean things up. Now, like I said, I've got a couple of these. I actually have, CK does offer a an adapter now for the Fronius machines. Um, currently, I just have one of Fronius's torches on here, which I like very well. And because this thing's so mobile, I just kind of leave it like that. It's got its own little cart and uh, I just kind of leave it like that and move it as I need it. But it is super nice to have a long set of torches. I mean, I also realized that most people aren't gonna have dual machines. And so if it was me, if I just had one machine, one setup, that's how I would do it. Even though, you know, I've got a lot of space to cover in this shop, I would still do it exactly like that. And I would just move that welding table if I needed to, to the other, the other end of the shop. Um, I have the luxury of not having to do that. I can grab the Fronius and take it somewhere else if I need to. But um, I love this upgrade. I mean, it is so convenient. You grab it, you peel off a couple loops, you get your job done, and then when it's time to clean up, you just throw those loops back on, ready to go. All right guys, that's all I got for you in this episode. As always, thank you for joining me. Y'all go do work, son. <laughs>